um i'll be speaking on what is man what is man now the question was not who is man but the question here is what is man now who speaks of personality since we also know that the personality is man then there may not be need to ask who now but what speaks of content that is why the bible says what is man that god is mindful of him it is the content of man that makes god and the devil pick interest in man that is you know what is man speaks of what is inside of man so what man is made of are you there so when you hear what is man what is man has to do with what is inside of man one then what man is made of two and the peculiarities of man so what is man speaks of content now it is because of what man he is that made the serpent came into the garden with a fruit with a fruit to deceive adam and eve he wanted to alter what man he is by making him fall but that was impossible now the fall affected who man was but not what you know but what man was are you there the reason the devil brought the the idea of the forbidden fruit and the reason he made them eat the forbidden fruit was because he wanted to affect what is man but when they ate the forbidden fruit the impact of the fruit affected who not what are you there you know who speaks of the person and what speaks of the content so the impact of the eating of that forbidden food fruit affected who more than what i hope you get that now man was a son of the most high but when man fell he fell short of the glory that a proper son should have so the impact of the fall affected who not what now that is why the bible says all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of god this statement was the summary of what happened to the personality of man after the forbidden fruit had been eaten after the fall man was still spirit soul and body the life the life that god breathed into man that made him a living soul didn't return it was still there so the content was not really affected but what really what you know what really uh got affected by the fall was the personality of the man this was why you know this was why god will have to look at us from the standpoint of christ for us to gain justification so anyone that is justified now is justified because god is looking at that person from the standpoint of christ why god can no longer look at you directly except he looks at you from the standpoint of christ why because the fall affected who much more than what it affected the person much more than the content 
how God looks at us is through Christ. We have to be in Christ for us to be seen by God because the effect of the fall on the you know the effect on of the fall was on the personality of man. So he was no longer the son of God. He was no longer man of God. He has now become son of man. Are you there? So son of God became son of man, became son of the head, became son of the soil because of the fall. So the fall affected the personality. He was no longer the son of God. Now he has become the son of man, the son of the head. Are you saying that? The son of the sand. This is why the emphasis in the scripture was not who, but what. Because that is the only part that was not really affected by the fall. This mystery is what the devil do not know. So when it comes, when it comes around, he will come with a question. So when it comes around, he will come with the question, what is man? Because he doesn't even know this kind the stuff that man is made of. The same ways you ask. You know, you 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 ask who am I, but the devil asks, what is man? Because the devil cannot really comprehend the kind of work that God did on man. There's something so special about man that the devil does not know. Are you there? You want to know who you are, but the devil is confused as to what your content is are you there man is concerned about personality but spirits are concerned about content so a human being will say who am i he's so concerned about who am i it's it's good to know who you are but i'm just pointing your attention to the fact that the interest of a spirit is not the same as the interest of men men want to know the who but spirit wants to know the what. It is because of the what. That is why you see that spirit possess. They possess man. Why? They want to be their content. So that's why you see a, a man that is possessed by the devil. Such a person will be acting under the influence of the devil. Why? The devil has now become the content. So it is the content that controls the container. I hope you get it. <clears throat> I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. What is man? So, as you know who you are, you know your personality. It's also good for you to know your content. So, having the understanding of who you are and what you are will help you to maintain your purity such that no devil will be able to use your body as a means of achieving a dark assignment. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. This is the wisdom of God. Don't say.